religion very often says this is the truth and you gotta believe it right and spirituality will say go and seek the truth use different tools and teachings to find the truth for yourself This is Mike Sigula from truthfury.com. I decided to make a separate series of videos where I'm gonna talk about spirituality, metaphysics, esoteric ideas and teachings, mystical practices, and some of these fascinating concepts that I've been interested in for a very long time, for at least 15, 20 years. And I don't really wanna mix this content with my regular vlogs and other stuff podcasts, etc. Because obviously this might resonate with different groups of people. So I decided to create a completely different series called True Spirituality, where we're gonna be diving very deep into some of these ideas and concepts. And today let's start with something fairly easy, fairly basic. What is the difference between religion and spirituality? Some people might confuse these two. They think if you are Spiritual, that means you follow some kind of religion, etc. But it doesn't have to be this way. You can be spiritual and pick practices and teachings from different religions. But let me start by saying that what I'm gonna share here with you today, it's my personal perspective, my own opinion. Some people might agree, some people might not agree, some people might understand these concepts differently, that's fine. I think that these kind of ideas and concepts can have many different meanings to different people. So let me just make it clear that this is my personal view. And the ideas I'm sharing should be taken with a grain of salt. You know, you can't say that every religion will fit into the definitions I'm gonna give. There are thousands of different religious ideologies and they differ from each other. So I'm just trying to generalize here. So number one, religion often creates limitations and spirituality typically not. So religion will most likely have a set of rules, some kind of dogmas, what you can believe in, who you should follow, what you can do, what you can't do. And this creates all sorts of limitations and very often original teachings are distorted people change meaning, etc. And we can see that with so many denominations of different faiths. People basically might interpret teachings very differently, etc. And religion very often can uh, be used to control people in specific ways. We've seen it throughout the history, wars, but in the name of religion, all these kind of things, right? And spirituality really is all about being a good person, trying to live in harmony with yourself, with your surroundings, with other people, and trying to understand divine or reach divine through different practices. I personally do not limit myself to one religious ideology. I pick different uh, ideas and teachings from different ideologies and test what works for me, what benefits me, what doesn't benefit. Number two, religion can separate people, spirituality can unite people. So many religions preach that their story is the truth, their followers are the chosen ones. On the other hand, spirituality is about making everyone equal. A good analogy here would be to compare religious groups to ethnic groups. So you might think you are white, you're black, you're Asian, etc. And spiritual person would say skin color is irrelevant, ethnic background is irrelevant, we are all human beings. Number three, spiritual person might act based on morals and conscience and the religious person could act based on a set of rules and dogmas. And again, as we said before, division or feeling that we are different from other people or better or that they are worse than us. This is all linked to religion. And if you look at history, you know, many wars were fought because of religions, you know, 
if religion tells you to hate someone or that you are better than someone else, there's something wrong about this religion. Number four, a spiritual person should not accept anything at face value, but a religious person would follow the rules without questioning them. You know, I've seen so many religious people that when I have conversations with them, try to explain them different points of view. They are just, no, because this is the way wherever teaching says, even if they have no evidence if this teaching is true or not, they still gonna try to prove their points because they're programmed, etc. Religion very often says, this is the truth and you gotta believe it, right? And spirituality will say, go and seek the truth, use different tools and teachings to find the truth for yourself. So I think you can be spiritual and not religious. And again, uh, I just wanted to generalize some of these concepts. It's not that every single religion is the same. Not everything here gonna apply to every single ideologies and same with spirituality you know some people are gonna define it differently this is fine so let me know what you think about this video in the comments if it resonates please share it i really appreciate when you guys share this content it helps to reach more people and if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing we're publishing a lot of videos now so till next time